the closest we have to an intact ocean ecosystem in, in the state of California. It's the closest we have to an intact kelp forest in the world. So what they've done here is they've protected and cultivated their cove at the Wrigley to be as much as possible like the ocean would look had humans not intervened. We get to learn about the island, which is like really awesome, and we get to take everything that we learned in like biology, marine biology, and apply it to what we can see here. Catalina is, is beautiful with how it's, um, how it's isolated. Uh, it lets, it's kind of like a, a miniature laboratory of on land and in the sea. You see all these plants that are only exist in Catalina and, and how they're affected by you know, introduced animals or other plants. And it's, it's, in that way, it's kind of like a whole uh, separated lab that has been studied in a way that they get to learn some principles that they can apply to the bigger picture of our planet. So this is one of our giant bladder kelps called Macrocystis. And it's really, really unique in that it is not only in the water as an algae, but it is attached to the bottom and it is part of the group we call the protists. checking out what's out there in the cove. We'll go out and we'll look at, I'd like you to see what's along the wall on the side, um, what's under the dock. There's usually some really neat sea life under there. We saw some of the, the blue and orange fish. I don't remember. Yeah, the gobies. Yeah, the, the And then we saw gobies. a manta ray and sea yeah, urchins. Yeah. is not just important for students, it's important for everybody. And the students are the key because as they understand ocean literacy, which essentially means our connection to the ocean and the ocean's connection to us, we're inextricably connected. Several essential principles that when they understand that, um, they have a bigger, more holistic picture of the ocean and what's important about it, and that they can share that information, because that's really what's so important with the, young, with the students, especially these students. I know they're good at that. this program really adds is a literacy with where facts and data are coming from. There's a foundation on which all of their convictions about the ocean and the environment rest um, that they get really exposed to here, whether it's working next to the most important environmental researchers in the world or actually taking their hands, putting them onto the science and really learning to know where that comes from and what it is and how to express it so they can use that to be change makers. They may have 
have some mechanism for their own propulsion, as you will find out under the microscope. <laughs> um, as a matter of fact, copepods are considered to be one of the fastest moving animals on the planet. There's so much stuff that you can see and do here, and the way people work, put time into research, to try and study everything about the marine environment and several different ecosystems, it's just, it's outstanding and I really love that there's people putting time into this because we do need to learn about this. By pursuing fundamental science, the pure science, just figuring out what's going on in the world. You know, this whole field of marine microbiology is something no one knew about 50 years ago and now we know it's fundamental to what we as human beings count on on this planet. One thing I love about the Mountain Down students is they come so well prepared. They have a good background, they're interested in what we're doing here. Um, I also really appreciate that they've been to kelp the year before. Remember that everybody's growth zone is in a different place. Just because you are comfortable with something and you think it's easy does not mean it's easy and comfortable for your friend. Even if they're your best friend and you think they're the bravest person in the world, maybe they are a little more nervous than you might know. So we are going to find ways to be positive and supporting and encourage everybody to reach their goals. But we're also gonna remember that everybody has their own personal goals. So far, my favorite thing has been the kelp snorkel. It was yeah. really cool. Yeah, we got to go some of the kelp, see all the fishes like hidden in there. It was really cool. We got to dive as well. There's a bunch of tunnels in the kelp. It was really nice. This week at kelp has been fantastic. The kids have been amazing. They've been enthusiastic. Um, one of the best things I think I've seen is how positive they've been. We've gone through um, some rough seas. I heard nothing but positive. Um, enthusiastic. Kids were pumping each other up. Big smiles. They've done everything we've asked them to do. It's just a completely different ecosystem from where we are. Because where we are, it's you know redwood trees. So it's partially to learn about this different area and all the different biology factors. But also, it's a really good bonding experience because it's bringing us all closer. It's bringing us together. And I think that's what we want out of uh, students at Mount Madonna is just for them to really um, you know, commit to, to whatever that it is that they're doing. They've done a lot of that, whether it's like singing at campfires or exploring the ocean and um, or learning from the great staff that we've got to work with. Getting up there, like climbing up there was scary, but then once I got the, the courage to do it and like just get my feet under me and it was really fun, like just jumping off and then I got more confident. But once I got up to that first platform, it was kind of really, I like felt my heart beating, but it was really good because I could hear all my friends there. They were all cheering for me. I, no matter what happened, I was fine, and they were there, and they were there to support me. I saw people get up there who were super confident. The minute I was like, all right, try it with no hands, they were like, whoa. And then they still tried it, and they did awesome. And I saw people on the ground who really did not want to go at first, push themselves, set a goal, and achieve that goal. And that was so awesome from all of you. to me being really supportive like giving me hugs making me feel better and once I got up there um, Adam he gave me his hand and he was like you could do this so then I tried and I did it this past year we've been taking uh, marine bio with Silva and all the stuff we've learned has like some of it we prepared for, for Catalina specifically. It's been really cool knowing all the stuff before we learn it here. 
So we learn all the things like all the animals, all the phylums, all the classifications of the animals in the classroom. But when we're actually out here, we get to like see how they live and like how they connect and like it's kind of just like a different perspective on what we learned in the classroom. So it brings it to life for them. They're so excited and um, I just think it's awesome that they have it's all interconnected and they have that foundation with both biology and marine biology in their freshman year. We went out there uh, earlier today and I dove down to the bottom. It was fun. like collecting data about plant and animal populations um, in the lower, middle, and high tide zones so that we can submit it to a research facility and then they can monitor like the plant and animal growth or like if the populations decrease. It's nice to feel like what we're doing is like important and I'm really enjoying just being in the water and it's so nice here. So the next activity we're going to do may connect with you at a slightly different level because it connects with something you guys already know about and have already been spending time and energy on. So this morning we are looking for microplastic in the sand. So you're sifting it and um, seeing how much like little plastic was in the sand and so we were going to send it off to these people who were going to observe it and see what kind of plastic is in the sand. There's a way that you guys have learned how to affect the environment and how to change your world. You've been through our program. You know about rallying people behind that cause. And today I hope you get an understanding of how we need also need the science to tell the story. That's what gets me so excited when groups like Mount Madonna bring students out here because I do recognize that you guys are developing leaders and you're developing thinkers and you're developing servants. You're developing um, positive-minded citizens, and I think that that's a concept that we've lost track of. What is a citizen? And what are the responsibilities of citizenship? And how does that overlay the notion of stewardship for this planet? And some folks think that we're here to actually interrelate and to care about the planet and leave it a little better off for the next generation. the goal is to really um, bring our biology program alive and really have them um, get hands-on and experience and, and see the interconnectedness of these ecosystems and everything that they've learned all year uh, they've been able to you know apply here and you know it's been a lot of two-way in lectures about talking about stuff that they've learned and I think it's kind of brought it to life to be able to see it Firsthand. It was really interesting to see how like the things that we learn in school with marine biology and biology and seeing how much like how we can connect and understand more. Yeah. We didn't have to like have it be explained to us because we already knew it so we could just connect it and interpret it. It's, it's incredible. It's almost unreal. But it seems to be that when groups come here, every trip is different and they bring a hope. They bring something that they need to learn and the island seems to give them that every time we're here. It's very special. I, it really wasn't what I expected. It was, it was actually a lot more and I think what I learned from that was to just come in without um, any expectations and just try to learn as much as possible from the people here.
If we know what's going on in the world and we understand and care about what's going on in the world, then those positive decisions and the things that we need to do to have positive consequences become our natural behavior. This is something I really am going to carry with me for the rest of my life because it's, it was so much fun and I loved it. I think I've experienced something that I, I won't forget and it, it's going to stay with me.